Welcome to ESI Africa Insights. For today's episode, I am speaking with Logan Moodley, who is the CEO of Conlog. Welcome, Logan. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, Logan, we're going to be talking about metering. And one of the things that we have seen is that smart meters are only as smart as the software. So let's talk about the functionality of the software and how this is implemented. Great. Um, yeah, you're right. I think smart meters are only as smart as, as the system it exists within, and the software plays a critical part of that. Um, I think today uh, these systems have evolved and continue to evolve as the smart uh, devices evolve themselves. What has it done for, um, for the industry, those that adopt smart meters? I think it, um, it certainly helps them along the journey of you know, working towards a smart grid. Um, having access to um, the endpoint for the very first time, the meter in the home, means you have access to the consumer. Um, whereas you know, previously, all of the systems stopped at, um, at one level above the home, right? Um, all digitized practices um, uh, then had that limited visibility. So visibility is expanded. Um, and, and having access to the consumer means you have access to consumer purchase patterns. You have the ability to interact with the device and the consumer in a specific way. Um, and it, it, I think it, um, it opens up a set of new use cases for utilities and municipalities in South Africa. Um, a lot of us are talking about demand management and, and having a smart meter in the home and a system that's able to interact with that, uh, with that smart meter opens up these practices and use cases. So substantial benefits, meters now get to exist in an ecosystem where the software is able to enable it. Yeah. I think that uh, it's strategic for a municipality, for a utility, as well as an end user. Yeah. But how do you see metering technology evolve, uh, specifically in the short to medium term, uh, for the African utility? For the African utility, short to medium term, I think there'll be a rapid evolution towards smart metering uh, with all of the benefits that it brings. Um, I mean, you have uh, uh, meters in the form that they exist existed for many years, be it conventional or prepaid meters. Uh, you'd leverage all of the benefits of each of those uh, meter types. But smart meters, I think, you know, as I said before, brings a whole new chapter of innovation, brings the consumer closer to the distribution um, a company or, 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 or municipality. Um, and the evolution is really based on how do we make the interactions as seamless as possible? And I think here we look at forming standards, uh, driving standardization across uh, systems as well as meters, um, and, and open standards allow for this easier communication practices, interoperability. We speak a lot about that in, in our industry. So, so meters will, will rapidly adopt towards being smart, but, but taking care of how smart they are on the basis of it being you know, um, uh, ascribed by a standard of sorts. Right. So, yeah. And then this comes to the point of standardization of yeah. the smart meters. How important is that and how is Conlog uh, accommodating standardization? I think we've learned through our very rich history in, in metering, uh, certainly in South Africa, um, as to what a world would look like without standards. Um, there's a whole host of proprietary applications, which, which means the adoption of the technology is not as sustainable. So we're looking for sustainable solutions for ourselves as well as for uh, you know, Munichs and, and, and metros. And, uh, and driving standards then becomes a fundamental. We've taken a position of supporting the industry as a technology advisor, not on the premise of us designing a product, but on the premise of us supporting a sustainable product in the industry. Um, listening to our customers, understanding their needs and requirements is critical crafting that into a technical specification together with you know, the various stakeholders in the industry is important. And then we take you know, the, the massive leap in, in capital investments in some of these uh, design activities. I think that allows us to make sure we've, we've addressed all of the needs um, of, of our customers, but again, applied it in a consistent manner with the view that we are building a sustainable industry for everybody. That is a very smart future to look forward to. It is, certainly. certainly. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Logan. It's my pleasure. And thank you for watching. Tune in for the next video and have a powerful day.